next thing I want to do is I want to create a report. I'm going to come over here. Uh, I've got a, a project, a work project that I'm utilizing, but it's just, all I need to do is just do new Jasper report. And it starts the process of creating this uh, detailed report. Now, Jasper thought starts off with a number of templates. This is basically a starting point, if you will. And so, as you can see, a number of templates are provided. Uh, and they, it basically provides uh, kind of a starting formatting, some basic formatting that you want to be utilized in your reports. Uh, JasperSoft provides a number of them, but you can actually create your own as well. So you're not limited to what this is. But I'm just going to use this gray uh, to start this. And let's see, let's, I need to give it a name. Let's call it my expense by count. Expense by account type. My expense by account type report. Click next. So the next thing is I need to access data. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab that demo data adapter I did connected. I'm going to make this a little bit wider, bigger, so we can see what we're doing here a little bit better. But connecting to the database, I basically here's over on the left. I've got a list of the schemas. I can just zoom down and I can actually see the different structures of, of, of the database that I want. Um, I can actually just cut and paste a query in here if I want it, or I can design the query. So let's go ahead and come down here and let's do a, you can use this diagram to diagram to a design my query. So let's see, I need my expense fact table. I add that to my, Thing. Let's see, I'll need to count to, to do this report. I'm going to need store information. Come down here and get some store information. And I also need a little bit of region information. So I've got these different, got the different uh, tables listed here. Now I just need to connect, connect the tables together. So I'm going to use tie the count ID to my uh, expense information. I'm going to text the store ID, just drag and dropping the, the appropriate keys, and then tie my re region to it. And so basically, now I, now I need to identify what fields I want. So let's see. Um, let me go with, I'm going to start off, let's go with the, the sales region. Uh, let's do a store type. Let's go with uh, account description, and then the amount. So basically, that's I've just designed a query, and I can come back over here to the text tab, and there's this query I've designed. Now, I probably don't want to use these field names in my labels, so I'm going to actually change these names a bit so that they're more English-like and look better. So let's call that region. Call this one store type. Let's go with... Uh, description and let's and this will be amounts actually I want to I want to make it a little bit more unique I want to summarize these amounts I don't want a detailed report this is going to be uh, broken down at the this, the account level so I'm going to modify this to be a sum and of course if I want to use a sum I need to do some order by, group by, so let's go ahead and do a group by, and I can actually navigate here and actually get the columns I want to group by. So I can just drag and drop the region. Um, let's, let's go with uh, store type. So I need to come down in my store type. My store, this is store type. Uh, and account description. So come back up here to accounts and drop in the description. So that gives me my group by. And so I'm just going to leverage that, do a cup, cut and paste and turn that into my order by as well. And of course, you can see how great a typist I am. But, uh, so now I've got the I've got the query together. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So now I can identify which of these fields coming back from the from the uh, from the query I want in my report. Let's go ahead and move them all over. I can arrange the order. I can, I can shift them up and down if I want. Uh, but basically, I can 
I can design it however this is going to be the list of fields I have and I'm just going to finish it here uh, and so here I've created a, uh, created my report using that format that layout now there's some you know it's, this is so it's using the, the basic template I'm going to c come in here and change my report name uh, I want this to be my expense detail report and give it a sub subtitle as well uh, by store type and we'll call it by by store type accounts and we can shift that over so that we get the full full text there um, let's see these region the, these labels I'll probably want to do a little bit of change so I'm going to come down here for the properties for this these labels I want to actually come to come here and I want to center them and center them both horizontally and vertically and let's see and uh, the the detail fields I want to do something similar so I'm going to come out and select each of those again come down here to the text content and let's uh, do the centering um, this amount field, I want to actually format that amount. Since it is amount an amount, I can come out here and I can use a currency pattern. So I'll just come out here and click, click the pattern I want, leave it to zero, round it to zero. Um, I don't have any column footers, so I'm going to actually delete this column footer band. Um, and I can just quickly do a preview, run that report, and there it is. It's running fine. But actually, I want to do one more thing with this. I want to actually zoom in on a specific region. So I can, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a parameter. Uh, and that parameter is a way that I can pass information in to this particular report. And I'm going to pass in the region. That's what I want to pass in. And the region is a string field. You can use different types of, of values for this, this field. Uh, is for prompting means I want to be able to pass the data in and I'm going to start out with a default I'm just for testing purposes I'm going to use uh, just, just use this particular use Northwest uh, which is one of my regions I can then come up here and I'm going to go back in and open up that query that I designed earlier and now I'm going to add a where clause so let's go ahead and say where Again, I can navigate down to get my region, or I could cut and paste it from here. Let's go ahead and just cut and paste this. So, control C and Control V, and I'm going to make that equal to. And if you come down here to this uh, lower panel, I can come over here. Here's my list of parameters. I can just drag that region parameter and drop it right in the query. So now I've got that where clause so that I'm filtering my report as I go. Um, another thing you can do is, is after you've got your query, before you even actually design the report, you can also uh, preview the data, see what data is coming back. And so it's using that default Northwest to provide the data. Go ahead and save that. And so now, I, now I've got this report that I can run and it has an input control. So I have designed that detailed report. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to publish this out to the server. So I'm going to click my publish button. And I'm going to come out here to my server, and this is the this is where I'm working. This is the server I'm working on, a uh, web server. And let's just go down here in my reports. Let's put it in my reports. You can set the name of the report. Click next. Uh, it pulls in any additional inf uh, resources that's required. Uh, if there's any images on it, it pulls those in. If, if it actually generates an input control for me. Click next. I can then identify once it gets to the data to the server where do I want it to pull the data data from. I want to use my demo data source. Go ahead and finish, and click finish. And so now that report has been published out to the server. So let's go ahead and pull up my Jasperport server, and come back here over to reports. There's that report we just published. Just hit click on that, and so now we're running. We can run that report. Uh, here we can enter other regions, um, and you can actually, using the tool, you can actually 
make more robust input controls. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to generate this report, and then I'm generating that report. So, so that so we've des designed the report. 